Never before has the nation been so caught up in watching a delivery packed up, shipped out, and flown to its destinations, all under the watchful eyes of security, usually anonymous workers now celebrated. I'm very humble and, and happy to, to, to let the healing begin. These are the first coronavirus vaccines from Pfizer, almost 3 million doses shipped out across the country, and it led to very unusual live television. It's not often you hear this when anyone gets a shot. Three, two, one, vaccinate. Woo, yeah. State governors from Kentucky to Colorado, New York to Louisiana, waiting to see them arrive. With this shipment, we start to see our ability to preserve life and protect our people. We are going to defeat COVID, and it starts right there. One of the first shots watched on live television, an intensive care nurse in New York who wanted to send a message. I hope this marks the beginning to the end of a very painful time in our history. I want to instill public confidence that the vaccine is safe. All of these made for TV moments meant to let people know that the vaccine is safe and everyone should take it when they can. As polls show as many as 50% of adults say they won't. There's also a question about how long it will take to have enough vaccine for all Americans. So right now we said 50 million for this year and most of them already has been manufactured and we are allocating it and uh, next year will be 1.3 billion and we are working to make much more than that. So the 1.3 billion, it is our commitment to the world, but we are working to make much more. Another vaccine from the company Moderna is expected to get approval later this week. That will increase supply, and experts say they think that that means by the spring, every American who wants to get the vaccination will be able to find one. It's positive news, but it comes on a very grim day as it's announced that the U.S. has now lost 300,000 people because of COVID, and experts say without big changes, it's only going to continue to get worse. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.